Hi and welcome to this Techie Topics video. This is Wendell Odom and in this video we'll examine how to find the subnet ID based on a mask and IP address and all we're focusing on is the math. We don't really care about the concepts around it for this video, just how to find the right answer. So to do this and to avoid using binary math, you want to think about the problem as four separate octets, four separate columns if you will, and you're going to key and make your decision on the mask's value. All right, now your decision criteria are this. The mask value is 255, you copy the IP address in that octet. Mask is zero, you just write down a zero. Now that's pretty easy so far. However, if your mask has a value that's neither 255 nor zero, well, you've got to go through some extra effort. So we'll see that in just a moment. So let's take a look at a simple example with a mask of all 255s and zeros just to get started. First off, I like to write the mask on top because that's your decision point. So in this case, we've got a mask of 285.255.0.0. And as an example, here's an IP address 10.4.77.99. Now I put these in a blog post as well, uh, and a few others like it if you'd like to check that out at around the same date that I posted this Techie Topics video. That's the CCENT Skills blog that you can find from the Search Skills website. Anyway, the first two octets mask is 255, so we copy the IP address, 10.4. Then the last two octets mask value is 0, so we write down zeros in the third and fourth octet, and there's your subnet number, 10.4.0.0. So it's a pretty easy process. You should practice some, and you can make up your own problems and find a subnet calculator and check your work. However, let's talk about the cases where the mask is a little more challenging. Let's say it's the same IP address, but let's change the mask value in the third octet to 240. And let me get rid of uh, part of the answer. Now, the mask didn't change in the first, second, and fourth octets in these first two examples. So this is the same value. The first two octets are 255, so the subnet ID will be 10.4 something. The fourth octet's mask value is zero, so the fourth octet of the subnet ID will be zero. So let's focus for a moment on this third octet. The rule when the mask is neither 255 nor zero is to create something called a magic number. That's a word I use or phrase I use. It's not really magic. It's an increment multiplier um, offset, if you will, that can help you find the subnet ID. Now here's the deal. The magic number is always 256 minus the mask's value in that octet. So in this case, it's 256 minus 240, or 16. Now, keeping that magic number in mind, what you want to do is compare that magic number to the IP address in that octet, in this case, 77. And you want to find the multiple of the magic number that's closest to 77 without going over. And you start at the multiple 0, as it turns out. So in this case, what are the multiples of 16 starting at 0? There's 0, 16, 32, 48, 64, 80. Whoa, oh, don't really have to go any further, do I? Of these, 64 and 80 are closest to 77, but 64 is less than. So we want the closest multiple that's not bigger than 77. And 64 is it. So our subnet ID is 10.4.64.0. So that's the process. The trick is to practice until you get this stuff down. So I encourage you to do so. If you've got the books, there's gobs of practice problems and appendices that come with um, the uh, it's on the CD in the back of the book. Uh, or you can check out the blog. I've got some questions there. And you can ask questions about the process there as well.